Welcome back to the Getting Started with AppSmith course. In this video, we're going to create a new feature that allows us to add new to-do items into the application. I will do that by setting up a widget to capture user input. Then we're going to create JavaScript functions to help us add to-dos. And lastly, we'll set up an event system that calls the add functions so that we have that to do added to our to do's array. To get started, I'm going to set up the container widget so that we have enough space to add our input. And I can do that by setting the height of the container widget to fixed and ensuring we don't have scroll bars by turning off scroll content. Now I'm manually going to expand the height of the container widget and move the list view to the bottom of the container widget. This should give me enough space to bring in new widgets, such as the input widget. Let's expand it to take up the entire space. The first thing I'm going to do is rename this widget from input1 to add input, and that makes it easy for me to remember the name of this widget later on. Then, I'll scroll down in the widget settings to start configuring it. First, I'll set the label to something like add to do. And next, I'm going to set a placeholder for this widget. I'm going to set the text I want to dot, dot, dot. All right, and the view for this widget looks good to go. The next thing I'm going to do is head over to the app.js file and create functions that are going to allow me adding a new to-do. So let's head over to the explorer and go to the app file. And here we can create a new function to help us add to-dos. First, I'm going to write a helper function that is going to allow us to update a to-do in a generic fashion. This is going to allow us both add to-dos and update to-dos later on. So let's create a function called update to-do. And this function is going to take in two parameters. The first is going to be the ID of the to-do. And the next is going to be the to-do update itself, which is going to be an object. And what we're going to do in the body of this function is update the to-do at the index provided into this function. So we can do that by setting the value of the to-dos at that index by writing data.todos and passing in the index. And we're going to set its value to the new update. But first, we need to spread its previous value by typing data.todos.id and then pass in the update by spreading its values as well and this is going to allow us to update whatever values previously existed on that to-do item. This looks good. And then we can actually go in to start writing our add to-dos function. This function is going to take in the to-do title as a parameter and then it's going to make use of the update to-do helper function we created earlier. So we can access it by typing this.update to-dos and then we want to pass in the index of the to-do, which is going to be the new item we're trying to create. And this is always going to be equal to the length of the to-do's array. And next, we want to pass in an object that has both the title, and we're just going to use title implicitly. And then we also want to pass the status of the to-do by setting completed to false. You might as well be explicit about passing in the title and then uh, type in some code to directly access the title parameter. But that is too verbose and I'm just going to take that out and make it implicit. All right, let's close this off and this looks good. Next, we head back into the canvas and what we want to do is set up the event system for the input widget. So let's have that widget selected and we we'll scroll down to the event section. And here you see we have an event for on submit. So let's go set that up. So whenever this widget is submitted, we want to execute a JavaScript function in the app file and we want to execute the add to-dos function. The next thing we need to do is pass in the title of the to-dos. And since this is going to be a dynamic variable, we want to bind it to the value returned in the text input, which is the add to-dos input. So let's write some mustache binding and access the value of add input.text. And that is exactly all we need to do to set this up. 
Lastly, we'll give this a spin by going to add a new to do. So I can add in it new to do saying walk the dog. And the moment I hit the submit key or the enter key, you'll notice that we have that to do added to the list. So with this feature, we are able to add new to dos into the application. And to build this, we created a widget to allow us to capture user input. Then we created two functions to enable us update to dos and add to dos. And lastly, we set up an event handler to call the add to do function, passing in the text provided by the user. And lastly, you can see that the whole UI update flow works perfectly. Now, in the next video, we'll add in a new feature that enables marking it to do as completed. See you in the next video.